What I have here is my uncle's shoe shine set, or box, or whatever you want to call it, that he had when he was a boy. My uncle was born in, I believe it was 1902. Uh, anyways, uh, this was up in the attic where my workshop was. Uh, what's left of my workshop. And anyways, uh, he had given this to me quite a few years ago, but I'm going to give it to my cousin, his his daughter, because um, she had asked me for it. Empty can of Kiwi Brown Shoe Polish, which of course uh, is not as old as the box here, and uh, the brush, and pretty old. It's got the shoe the footrest here it's an oldie that's for sure I just want to get some pictures of this she had expressed interest in this a number of years ago and uh, I couldn't find it at the time there's so much stuff up in the attic but um, I'm going to give it to her unless it's rightfully hers but I did want to, maybe a little, somebody's interested in stuff like this, that you know, get a kick out of watching uh, something like this, I'm sure. I've never shined shoes when I was a kid. My dad had done it. Um, and of course my uncle here, this is his set um, when he was a boy. Another item here I want to give to my cousin because my uncle had given me these two with it salt and pepper shakers dated 1902 from the Danbury Fair that would be the Danbury Connecticut Fair I, I would imagine there's some initials on there but I don't uh, there's no uh, names that I recognize here some fancy glass work that's for sure And uh, plainly 1902 engraved right into the glass. It's a piece of work, I'll tell you. Uh, they could be worth some money, I don't know. But uh, my cousin uh, is going to be the rightful owner of these. And these particular ones were sitting up in my shop and I, I, had, I could get my hands right on them. Whereas uh, the uh, shoe shine box, I had to go digging for that. But anyway, so I just thought I'd throw this on the, on uh, YouTube here, and uh, just uh, to bring back some memories. Who knows? Maybe some of you people out there might remember stuff like this. This is a terrible year for acorns. I've got them all over the place out here. They're all over the yard. Like marbles when you're walking on them. Talk about walking on marbles. See what I mean? It's unreal. And they're hard to rake up, of course, as you well know. Well, we haven't had any substantial rain in a while, and you can see that our brook back here is pretty dry. Remember earlier in the year was complaining in the spring that we had, in the beginning of summer, we had nothing but rain almost every day. Now we don't have uh, hardly any at all, just a little bit the other day. But we sure have a lot of acorns. Wouldn't want to get hit on the head with this one because a little point there can hurt. Um, I have a tarpaulin on my screenhouse and when they come down just right and hit this it makes a pinhole in the uh, tarpaulin. And it's not very nice. Some of these acorns are quite large. Although I don't think you'd consider this an acorn. You step on that and you go sliding. That's for sure. Well, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Have a good day.